الله أكبر يا رسول الله يا رسول الله زندا باد زندا باد زندا باد زندا باد زندا باد إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا مولانا محمد صلاة دائمة مقبولة تعدي بها أن حقه العظيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد رسول الله صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الامين المكين الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اوصى اعظم بمن بسر سما مدد قبلاء دي مدد كعبا ايما مدد قادريم نارائي يا اوصى اعظم ميزنم دمز شیخ احمد رضا خان قطب عالم میزنم سیدی یا مرشدی شاہ مصطفیٰ خان زندہ باد مسلک سرکار عالی عالی حضرت زندہ باد یا الہی مسلک احمد رضا خان زندہ باد حفظ ناموس رسالت کا جو ذمہ دار ہے سیدی یا مرشدی شاہ مصطفیٰ خان زندہ باد حامل فیض رضا مصطفیٰ امداد کن صلی اللہ علیہ نبی الامی و علیہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا سندي يا حبيبي يا طبيبي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا رحمة للعالمين All praise due to Almighty Allah The runes and salams upon the most perfect, exalted and glorified of Allah's creation سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Peace, blessings and salutations upon the Anbiya Karam, Ahlewet Athar, Sahaba Karam, Khulafa Rashidin, Tabayin, Tabay Tabayin, Aymai Mujtahideen, Awliya Kamilin, and all those who will follow the path until the last day. We thank Almighty Allah through His infinite mercy and through the wasil of the beloved Rasul, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, for granting us the tawfiq and granting us this good fortune to commemorate for Salatul Jum'ah and to prostrate in his most exalted court. Before continuing with today's discussion, let us all direct our hearts and our thoughts and our minds towards the Mubarak court of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in doing so, let us all together recite the Ruh Sharif. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyyina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin salatan daimatan makbulatan tu'addi biha anna haqqahu al-azim. Allah Almighty, by His divine grace and by His mercy, has given us this good fortune of being the Ummah of the Beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. Our Beloved Nabi, Hadrat Ahmad Mujtaba Muhammad Anil Mustafa Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, like we all know, is the greatest and the most exalted in Allah's creation. There is none like Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there was none like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there will be none like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala Hadrat Azimul Barkat, Imam Ahl Sunnat, Asha Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, Fazl Barilvi radiallahu ta'ala an beautifully states that even the chief of the angels, Hazrat Sayyiduna Jibreel Amin alayhi salatu was salam, says that I have searched the east and I have searched the west. I have searched the east and I have searched the west and you know 
کہ جبریل علیہ السلام سرچنگ اور لکنگ از یونیک واٹ وی کین ناٹ سی جبریل کین سی علیہ سلاۃ وسلام سو حضرت جبریل علیہ السلام سیز دیٹ آئی سرچ دا ایسٹ اینڈ آئی سرچ دا ویسٹ اینڈ آئی ہیو ناٹ سین اینی بوڈی لائک محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وائی از یو ٹیلنگ یو دس یو از ٹیلنگ یو دس بیکاز ہی از وانٹنگ اس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وین جبریل علیہ السلام سیز دس اٹ از سو دیٹ وی ایز دا امہ انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ وین جبریل سیز دیٹ آئی کین ناٹ فائنڈ اینی بوڈی لائک رسول پاک صلی اللہ وسلم When an angel and the chief of the angel says that I cannot find anybody like Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, then who else is there that can say that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is like anybody else? That is why Allah Hadrat, Azimul Barakat, Imam Ahle Sunnat, Ash-Shafi'i, Malik, Ibn Taymiyyah, 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 
इसे इस खाते हैं तेरे दर का या रसूल अल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम खाते हैं तेरे दर का पीते हैं तेरे दर का दाना है तेरा दाना पानी है तेरा पानी या रसूल अल्लाह सल्लम वेदर वी ईट वट वी ड्रिंक वट वी डू या रसूल ऑल दिस बरक़ात दैट वी गेट इट इज़ बिकॉज ऑफ यू और रसूल सल्ला तसलम हैंस वी मेक इमेंस एफर्ट to celebrate and to commemorate the birth of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should try you know people say that do i have to get people together to make maulud do i have to invite 50 people 100 people to make maulud no just sit with your family and talk about allah and allah's habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam sit with your family and talk about the love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is maulud Whatever you do in the remembrance of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is maulud. It is remembering Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's birth. It is remembering Rasul Pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam's paydaish. It is to remember the barakat and the blessings of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is what is maulud. It is the gathering together to remember him sallallahu alaihi wasallam. in whose sadqa allah has created this entire universe everything is the sadqa of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam do you know that when allah almighty and you know this you you've read this you've heard this many times when almighty allah created sayyiduna adam ala nabiyyina alayhi salatu wassalam then almighty allah commanded all the angels to make sajda we know this from the beginning we've understood this ये बार बार हम सुन चुके पढ़ चुके कि दैट वन ओल माई चल्ला क्रिएटेड नबी आदम नबी नली सलातम अल्लाह ओल माई टी कमांडेड ऑल द एंजल्स मेक सच दू आदम बट इन रियलिटी द ग्रेट स्कॉलर्स हैव सेड सैद आला हजरत अजीम उलबरकत एंड ऑल द ग्रेट आई माई शेर हैव सेड दैट अल्लाह ओल माई टी प्लेस द नूर ऑफ रसूल सल्लाम in the mubarak peshani of hazrat sayyidina adam alayhi salatu wassalam and then after that the command was given to the angels make sajda to adam alayhi salam so in reality the great aima have said the great scholars have said that adam ala nabina alayhi salatu wassalam was the qibla for that sajda adam alayhi salatu wassalam was the qibla for that sajda that actual sajda was for that nur of muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam so when this was from the beginning when this was the adab that was given to the nur of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and when this was the adab given to adam ali salatu wasallam who was created by the dust the qudrat of allah by the divine qudrat of allah without a mother and a father then if that day is celebrated if that day is celebrated where the angels are commanded to make sajda on that day when the creation of hazrat adam ali salam took place then what can be said about that day in which the noor and the soul of adam came into this dunya muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is why it is very important that we should never listen to those who say don't make maulud because in reality what are they telling you kya keh rahe ke rasul ki yaad mat banao they are telling you when they say don't make maulid they say don't remember the nabi when we do maulid what do we do we remember rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we praise to the best of our ability what is naat naat is to recite the praises of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what do you do in maulid what do we do in maulud sharif quran padhte we recite the quran we read naat sharif we speak about the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we read salam upon the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and thereafter we feed people in the love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which thing is wrong quran tilawat can't be wrong when we do it naat e rasul can't be wrong speaking about the seerah of rasulullah and the love and the zindagi of rasulullah can't be wrong sending salam upon rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam can't be wrong and feeding the people can't be wrong because the beloved nabi said amongst the best of you are those who feed people so whatever we are doing is what the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked us to do but still we are being stopped what is the reason for that i'm going to end with this 20 pe khatam karna hai na 20 pe so 
the point that I want to make here is why is it, why is it that always the enemies of Islam have tried to stop us from making the maulud of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa from remembering Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The reason for this is because they know that Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa is the gateway to the court of Allah. They know that Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa is the gateway and the greatest and the most mubarak door to the court of Allah Almighty. They know that if you become distant from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will become further away from your creator almighty Allah. And they know if you become close to Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then the beloved Nabi will take you and put you in the court of Almighty Allah. So they try always to distance us from the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and from those things which take us close to the court of Almighty Allah. So you must keep this in mind. This has been always the ploy of the Yahud. This has been the ploy of the Nasara. But they couldn't do it directly. So they caught some from amongst us and made them like, made those people like them. They've caught some from amongst us, the Bad Mazhabs, and made them like them and put them as dark agents amongst the Muslims so that they may destroy the Muslim community. We need to protect ourselves from them so that we can protect our Iman and the Iman of our children, the Iman of our future generation. Why? Because when we leave this world, look, our houses and our cars and our property and our money not going to help us. But if you leave this grave, this dunya, and go towards your qabr with Ishke Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then we remember what Allah Hadrat Adimul Barkat said. Lahad mein ishq rukhay shah ka daag leke chale. Andheri raat suni ti chiraag leke chale. And we say, how do we get this ishq? How do we become strong in our deen? Tere ghulamo ka nakshay kadam hira hai khuda. Wo kya bahak sake jo ye suraag leke chale. And they say, where did Allah Hadrat get this from? Ya yu alladina amun taqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqin. Oh, believers, fear Allah and keep the company of the pious and the righteous ones. Why? They will attach you to the court of the beloved Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the beloved Rasul will put you in the court of Almighty Allah. Allah give us tawfiq e khair. Iman ke saath rakhe, iman ke saath uthaye. Those who are ill in our community, Allah grant them shifai kamil sayata ajil. Those that have passed away in the, in the, amongst the ahli sunnah, Allah exalt them in jannat and naeem. Those that are going through any calamity and difficulty, may Allah remove their calamities and their difficulties. And special dua for the Muslims of Palestine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease their difficulty. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them kuwat to continue uh, in this difficult time. May Allah give them sabr. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect their lives and their honor. Wa ma'alainil barakh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.